Cañada Real in the suburbs of Madrid is one of the biggest slums in the European Union. Here, some 8,000 people live in extreme poverty. And through the coldest of winters in recent years, about half of them have been living without electricity, in temperatures as low as minus 10 degrees centigrade for months. Mis hijos, la verdad, es lo peor que llevo. Se levantan las criaturas ya sin luz, se acuestan sin luz. Eh, es, claro, los niños se tienen que divertir con, con, con algo. Pues cuando tenemos, eh, cuando encendemos el generador, vos ven el, 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 ese ratito la tele. Part of the almost 90 billion euro European Social Fund Plus has been set aside to ensure children in the EU don't have to endure such conditions. The uh, ESF Plus will ensure that, that funds are available to support citizens in difficult situations, to provide opportunities for training and unemployment, to ensure that every child and youth is given the opportunity to succeed. Every single member state will have to allocate enough funding to address child poverty. Countries with high levels of child poverty will have to spend at least 5% of ESF Plus resources on helping them in areas ranging from access to free education to decent food and housing. Helping young people into work, especially in the wake of the pandemic, is another priority of the ESF+. Plus. Investments in apprenticeships and vocational training will help them access quality jobs. Countries with above-average youth unemployment should invest at least 12.5% of funds to help young people into the workforce. The fund will also provide food and basic assistance to those most in need and promote social inclusion.